Okay, campsite tour. So we're staying in the Birches, and it seems like all the camp spots here have an area where you can drive in and drive straight out. And I think it fits about like two cars, but maybe three, but definitely two. There's actually a lot of trees in this campsite. We hung a line there to hang some of our stuff up. We have an eight person tent to give you a size reference. There were two picnic benches, one here and one over there. We have neighbors over there. Uh, we managed to also get a hammock because there's so many trees. And there's a fire pit. There's a grill here. We have our chairs. And then if we walk out, the washrooms for ours is just, they're just over there. Maybe like a minute or two of a walk. So I would say this campsite is pretty good. I forgot to mention there is one con and it is very rocky. There's a street that goes around all of the campground and this is it. It's also the way to get to Cypress Lake. Sorry for the vertical video, but I just wanted to show what it looks like to walk from that street to Cypress Lake itself. We were at the far side of the campground, so this was just the closest way to get to the lake for us. There are a few other ways. There is a trail that runs all around Cypress Lake, which is partially wooden, which is what you just see there. The beach area for Cypress Lake is really narrow and it has a lot of sticks and rocks on it. The lake is fairly warm though and a lot warmer than the grotto. The water is fairly shallow but it's deep enough to go paddle boarding, canoeing, or kayaking. Cypress Lake also is a beautiful place to watch the sunset. I managed to capture this time lapse when I was there. It's also a good spot to try out astrophotography as the park is a dark sky preserve. We had several critters come by our campsite, including this chipmunk, some squirrels, and various birds. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful.